Hello, I'm Michael with Rider Sanctuary, and today I want to talk about blacklisting clients and text broker and when you should. But before we get started, if you have any questions regarding text broker, leave them in the comments down below. I'll try to help as best I can. So what is blacklisting and text broker? As an author, you have the option to add any client you want to a blacklist. This means they can no longer send you messages, direct orders, or team invites. It's a way of controlling who can send your work and weeding out the problematic clients. Of course, this also means that clients can add you to a blacklist. But usually, I'll give clients the benefit of a doubt before I add them to my own blacklist. So when should you use your text broker blacklist? Personally, I'll add aggressive clients to the list first. If a client doesn't demonstrate any kind of level of professionalism with me, I don't want to deal with them. I simply do not have the time to babysit clients. Secondly, as I strive for a quick turnaround, any client who has an excessive amount of requirements in their order description, I'll add them to the blacklist as well. This is because, again, I don't have the time to go through and research the entire order. For me, it doesn't make sense to spend 45 minutes on a $5 article just to make sure the client gets what he or she wants. In the meantime, I could have easily have doubled the income by working for other clients. Now, you'll see this quite often because there's a lot of clients out there who want a level 5 quality but are only willing to pay the level 3 author. It's unfair to the authors, especially those who don't have the experience. But if you do come across some of those articles that have an excessive amount of requirements to them, you can use the option to rate the order briefing. It's a feedback form where you can tell the client exactly what's wrong with it. This system includes things like rating the requirements, research necessary, and the clarity of the language that's being used in the briefing. It's a great method to let the client know that they're just asking too much of a level 3 or a level 4 writer. Sometimes clients are incredibly anal and will try to get as much as they can out of you to get the biggest bang for their buck. Luckily, there's a lot of clients out there that don't do that, and so it's easy just to skip these anal ones and move on to the next. You may also consider blacklisting a client if they have an excessively high rejection or revision rate. This doesn't necessarily mean the client is bad, though. It could simply mean that the client hasn't found an author that could fit what they need. And even though there's a lot of talented writers on TextBroker, there's quite a few that have quite poor quality. I hear from clients all the time about some of the work that authors have submitted to them. One client in particular wished that she can clone me. But revision and rejection rates don't always point to a problematic client. In one instance, I saw a client that had a 20% revision rate. This means he or she asks for a revision one out of every five articles that were submitted. And in text broker, 20% revision rate is fairly high. However, I gave the client a benefit of a doubt, and I have yet to have a revision request come back from that particular client. Of course, I've only completed about 10 orders from this client. But still, it's a good example of how a revision rate isn't always the best judge for blacklisting a client. So how do you blacklist a client in TextBroker? Well, in most sections of TextBroker, you can click on the client ID number. This will show a basic profile of what the client has, like their revision rate, their rejection rate, and then a list of things that you can do, actions you can take. Just click the link that says set client on blacklist. Now this will immediately add the client to the blacklist without asking, are you sure? It just all of a sudden will throw that person in the blacklist. No questions asked. So before you do it, make sure you mean it. And after you click on that link, a new message will appear on the client's profile that says that this client is on my blacklist, which means you now have a reminder that if you ever check on this client in the future, you'll see that it's on your blacklist. This is helpful for some of the clients that hang around for years on end and you really don't like them and you click on the profile and you see, oh, yep, he's on your blacklist. And if you want to remove a client from a blacklist, you just click on the link that says remove client from blacklist. It'll be on the same profile screen that you click on. But what's an alternative to using the blacklist? In some cases, I'll use the change client specific rate option that's available in that text broker client screen. This lets you adjust how much that a client's going to pay you for a certain work. In cases when the research and the requirements are excessive, I'll increase the rate. Remember, text broker authors are paid on production. You want to make sure you're getting your fair share. You want to make sure that you're being compensated for the amount of work that you're putting into the order. Now, I don't put in some absurdly high number to scare away the client. But because I know how much my time is worth, I can come up with a fair and reasonable rate. It's also helpful and professional to inform these clients of any time you increase the rate and why. So I'll send a message to the client explaining my position on it. And in many instances, the clients will happily pay it because they know they're getting quality work. Unfortunately, you'll have some clients who won't contact you anymore because their rate is too high and they want cheap labor. And that's fine because there's plenty of clients out there. Never shortchange yourself as a writer to get the job. You'll find it more difficult to sustain yourself if you ever do. Then you wind up working for pennies when you could have been working for dollars. So what kind of clients have you come across that you wish you could blacklist? Leave them in the comments down below. 
If you found the video informative, hit the like button. If you want to learn more about text broker, freelance writing, WordPress, or Wattpad, hit the subscribe button. I try to produce videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I think that's going to do it for me today. I'll see you tomorrow.